Responsible antibiotic use is important for two main reasons. Reduction in the use of antibiotics reduces the risk of residues of antibiotics in our food products. Reduction in antibiotic use also reduces the development of antimicrobial resistance, which could lead to treatments being less effective in the future. While antimicrobial resistance is an increasing problem right across the world in both animal and human medicine, responsible and targeted use of antibiotics will reduce this development of resistance. The purpose of antibiotic dry cow therapy is to assist the cows in curing any mastitis infections that are present in the udder at the end of lactation. Blanket dry cow therapy is where all cows in the herd are treated with antibiotics at the end of lactation. Selective dry cow therapy means treating only infected cows with antibiotics. The use of antibiotics can be reduced by only treating cows that have an infection at the end of lactation. Selective dry cow therapy is only suitable for herds where the bulk tank somatic cell count is less than 200,000, where there is a low number of clinical cases of mastitis, the herd must be milk recording, clinical cases must be recorded, and milk culturing tests have been carried out with no staph aureus infections identified. Otherwise, blanket dry cow therapy should be used in all animals in the herd. Avoiding antibiotic dry cow treatment is only suitable for cows that have had a low somatic cell count for the last four milk recording results and have also had no clinical cases of mastitis this lactation. Otherwise, use antibiotic dry cow therapy to help the cow cure this infection. When not using antibiotic dry cow therapy in cows, teat sealers should be considered to keep infections out of the udder during the dry period. When only teat sealer has been used at drying off, hygiene is of even more importance as there is no antibiotic present to fight any infection that could be introduced. The GII Milk Culturing Service allows us to select the most effective antibiotics for use in the herd. By working together we can use antibiotics more responsibly reduce resistance and increase their effectiveness in the future.